The Russian flag flying at half-mast over the Kremlin as mourners across Russia bring flowers to makeshift memorial, honoring the more than 130 people killed during Friday's deadly terror attack at a crowded concert hall in Moscow. You can hear gunfire ringing out in this footage from the fateful night as terrified people try to escape to safety. Attackers also set the facility on fire, adding to the chaos. Klopok. Bang, pause, bang, pause. It sounded very familiar to some kind of firework somewhere in the distance. And then there was gunfire, and the sound became more and more persistent, closer, closer, and closer to the hall. Sunday, four suspects were brought to court and charged with terrorism. The men appearing to show signs that they were beaten prior to their arrival are from Tajikistan, which borders Afghanistan, the men were arrested near Russia's border with Ukraine. While ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, Russian President Vladimir Putin suggested Ukraine is linked to the violence, prompting swift responses from the Biden administration, which says there is no evidence Ukraine was involved. Instead of dealing with his Russian citizens and addressing them, Putin was silent for the whole day, thinking about how to link it to Ukraine. Everything is completely predictable. Meanwhile, emergency teams continue removing rubble from the concert hall as dogs search for any remaining victims. It is a terrible tragedy, and we are here to honor the memory of all of the victims. And I must say that we are together with you. Seven other people believed to be connected to the attack have also been captured. Officials are still trying to determine if anyone else was involved. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.